what you're seeing right here is my Honda 2000 watt generator and I've had this thing for a while and as you can see it has seen the war a few times over I'm not the first owner of it I'm the second owner I've had this thing apart went through it after all she's been through she still runs like a top however one of the things that really annoy me is when it comes to servicing this thing now if you own one of these or are thinking about buying one of these one of the things you're going to notice is when it comes time to change oil it is a real pain in the butt i'm not sure what the engineers were thinking with this design right here so you pull your cap out oh, she's got a little bit too much oil in there i like to keep it a little full because it uses oil but you see right there when you go to change oil it comes out that little spout there and then when you tilt it forward and that trap right there is supposed to help drain the oil and that just becomes a real mess now i have the midi back it works awesome you can suck the oil out without making a mess however if you don't have that i'm going to show you something else that's going to make life easier so this is a kit I got from IFJF and it's gonna make life a heck of a lot easier. We're gonna look at this. This is more like a funnel when it comes to draining and filling, make your life a heck of a lot easier. What I mentioned about earlier about using oil is that I think the valve guides are gone in this thing. So, you know, after you've been traveling for a while or, you know, been sitting for a while, you start her up and she'll kill the mosquitoes, that's for sure. But anyways, you screw that in right there, right? Comes to fill oil or drain it, bypasses, you're not gonna get oil in the compartment. It'll just come directly outside. Hey, isn't that awesome? Combined with this funnel I 3D printed, right? It's gonna make filling a breeze now. Now this is a magnetic dipstick that the kit came with as well. However, I can tell you there's not much in there as far as metal goes. So if you start seeing metal on this, probably some serious issues. Let's give this back the old tilt. Put the new dipstick in. Man, that looks way nicer than the stock one. It's got a rubber seal as well, so it won't leak. Now, if that super sexy accessory doesn't make the panties drop in the bush, he might as well be gay. Now, this last accessory that we're going to look at is something that's going to come in very handy for people who actually use the generator instead of the people just buy one and pretend that they have one. But for ones who want to use it like long term, don't get me wrong, the Honda generator is really good on fuel. The only problem is, it's got a small tank. So what this is, is a little adapter, and you get a nipple, and you'll build something, hose, whatever, and attach it to another fuel tank. And then it'll siphon from that fuel tank into this one, and you can make your generator run long. Because when I'm out camping, if I got a heater going, I got like a 1500 watt heater. This won't last the night. One tank of fuel won't last the night. So, I mean, it's a great wake up alarm because once it starts getting cold and the generator stopped, it's time for me to get up. I either freeze to death or put more fuel in the generator. But now I can hook up another five liter jerry can to this and I'll be able to go all night long. I would not be surprised if you find that this actually will fit something else as well. And also the gas cap here is a closer view of it. MPT thread, rubber seal. Anyways, little cheap investment to make your life easier. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, breathe that in. Breathe her in. Kill all the mosquitoes. Smoking like a dirty old crack whore.